Today, I thought it would be fun to make some cool posters. A couple months ago, I made the posters that you can see behind me on the wall. Well, I didn't say formally in that video what this series is called, but I will now that I think of it. Welcome to Design With Me, a series of off-the-cuff design videos where I where I record myself making the design and put, put myself in a little shape and then re-record myself over that video so I could trim it down and not make it 45 minutes. In this episode, I'll be making posters around three famous car brands, Lamborghini, Porsche, and Ferrari. There were no really special parameters to work within, no constraints, so I just opened up a 16 by 20 project and started designing. So without wasting any more of your time, here is me designing three posters with myself in a little shape while I narrate them. So here is the first design for our Lamborghini. Originally, I wanted to find a Lamborghini Countach, like a old, maybe 80s, early 90s uh, Lamborghini. Super nostalgic, looks really, really cool, but I couldn't find the right photo. I did find this track car, like this hyped up Lamborghini that's used for racing. Uh, this really, really nostalgic looking photo, even though it is a newer car. So I went with this one, thought it would be really cool. I duplicated the photo, so I had two layers of it. And then I removed the background from the top layer and then applied a mask to the layer behind it so that the car looks like it's bleeding over the right and the left edge of the photo. Gives it a really, really nice depth of field, a really cool effect here. Then I just added my title, Lamborghini. And then for my subtitles, I'm using a really nice serif font, which is a little off character for me. I really like uh, sans serif fonts a lot. Uh, but I wanted to do something that felt a little bit more nostalgic. I liked the green and the... Uh, the reddish colors in this uh, track photo. It reminds me kind of like a tennis court vibe, and so does uh, Sarah Fonts. So I put those two together, and uh, I'm adding my, uh, my title up here. I think I put determined to finish or something, just random, something sporty, something racy up there. And then my nice subtitle has a, the little cutout trick that I've showed you before. Just add a stroke, make sure it's the same color as your background. Here I'm checking my spelling as I need to do. I'm notorious for misspelling things. Drew needs to tell me all the time, you misspelled this thing, go back and fix this thing, or this template it, thing is wrong, so I have to check my spelling all the time. Second poster, we've got our Porsche. Same concept here, I duplicated the picture, so now I have two of them. In the top layer, I'm going to remove the background from the car so that I can put text behind it. Here I've got my 911 text. I use luxurious script for this. I'm just sizing it up, trying to get it in the right space to where it feels like it occupies the top right corner, but not too much weight to where everything feels unbalanced. I want everything to feel balanced. I want everything to feel good. And then I change this to a nice uh, gray color. I think I color picked it from like the floor or something. And then I've got my title here playing around with a couple of different fonts to see if something feels good. And uh, there we go. Of course, Milligan Grotesque. No surprise there. It's always good. Always a winner. It's faithful to me. And so we've got our Porsche. I've got my subtext here, which is the same font as well. And then I've got some little script, a uh, little serif font at the bottom, just kind of adding some weight to the bottom of the poster to make sure that it doesn't feel super empty. We've got like a nice, nice base there. You can make that text whatever you want. I think I just use like a lorem ipsum generator. Copy, paste it in, and we're good to go. Now I'm looking through my textures. I really liked this texture right here. Uh, I wanted a paper texture, but not super grungy. I, I wasn't into the super grunge vibe for this one. The Porsche is nice and clean, it's nice and white. So I wanted to make sure that I preserve some of that. And I'm just making sure that everything looks nice and balanced and that I feel good about it. I stare at it for probably a good five minutes and then I go to download the PDF. On to our third poster. This is gonna be our Ferrari poster. Same deal here, nothing new. I did find a nice, uh, really, really vintagey feeling photo with this Ferrari that looks like it's in some alley in Italy and uh, has some grain on it, some nice texture, did the same thing, duplicated my photo and then cut the background out of the top version so that the text that I'm adding right here, get home a little faster, can sit just behind the car. I'm adjusting the spacing here. And I think 
there we go yep it goes right behind the car there and fills that space super well i'm going to copy that and then make the size of this uh, other text block a little bit smaller and i'm going to have a little text block down here and it says if i get a faster car i can get home faster which means more time with my family more time with my kids more time with my wife more time with my friends more time to make money and less time sitting in traffic which i think we all could agree that would sound pretty nice and so i'm going to adjust that text block put it right in the middle down at the bottom so everything feels good now i'm adjusting the contrast of just the car layer that has the car cut out it seemed like just a little flat to me and i wanted a little bit more depth i wanted that car to pop and then i go to download the design well that was fun i will be doing more of these little fun little design videos in the future so look out because they're coming if you haven't used kittle before hopefully this video was a snapshot of how Kittle can be used to speed up your process, whether you're just designing for fun or a client or for a friend. Side tip, design for fun sometimes. It's really good for you. Drew, Drew told me that like only 30% of people that watch are subscribed. So do us a solid and hit that tricky little button for me, please. Oh, and, and like the video too. That would be, that would be nice. And commenting, commenting is good. If, uh, if you don't have anything to comment, just say like what your favorite car brand is or something. I don't know. Have fun creating and as always, we'll see you in the next video.